What is up my ninjas, Dart Frog Ninja here for another video in the Dart Discussion. Today I'm going to do things a little bit differently. Um, as you can see, I did change this placement of the one bromeliad. I noticed it was getting too much water and the stolen was starting to get too soggy and then it, would look, it wasn't looking 100% great. So I moved it there. It seems to be doing fine. The other bromeliad is doing fine, but let's get on with it. Today we're going to discuss on the DART discussion where to go to find information and what Facebook groups are good groups to join or friendly groups for beginners. Now there's tons of information out there, but what sites are the best for you, for you, I've got a forum, a website, and a Facebook group all lined up for you that I'm gonna show you that I think are the best around and the most friendly for beginners. So, without further ado, let's get hopping. All right, my ninjas, today I have a handy dandy tool right here. This is my iPad, and we're gonna go over first what Facebook group you guys should join. And that is the closed group, All Things Dart Frogs. Now this is a great page. Uh, it has a lot of different uh, hobbyists from beginners to advanced there's sellers and breeders and there's the average hobbyist like yours truly um, right now they're sitting at 2400 members now what's great about this uh, particular Facebook group is that I believe it's UK based but it also has people from America from the South American countries from Asia all over Europe so you have a mix of people from different countries. So I think that's great because you get different uh, looks at different things, different frogs are available in different countries, uh, different tips, different products are available in different countries. You, so you get a lot of different feedback from a lot of different people. The admins are really nice. They engage uh, with posters uh, very regular, regularly, I should say. Um, and it's just a great place that you can ask a question, uh, you, you know, anything which you, which you might have, post up a question and you're gonna get a lot of answers from hobbyists and they don't berate you or make you feel dumb, they actually encourage you. So this is a great page to go to. I, I definitely recommend all things Dart Frogs for Facebook groups. If you were, uh, want a link to it, I could probably put a link in the uh, description and you can go to it from there just click a join and then it's going to take an admin to uh, approve but it's got great stuff right now let's see what we got going on let's see we have somebody here with their setup it's a newly designed setup we have pictures see they, this is one of the admins this is daryl he likes to put up a lot of good stuff to get people interacting so right now we have let's see all your pictures of your darts and what's great about this let's hit the comment section you get to see a bunch of different dart frog pictures you get to see a lot of people's different uh different uh frogs that they have okay let's stop on this one because that azirius are always stunning look at that guys so you get to see stuff so you get to get to learn more about dart frogs and about how, what it takes to keep them and like I said this is a great group to join um, it's got a lot of members people do post some stuff up here for sale um, and then again do you have questions like this from this nice fellow and I've been chatting with him this morning as long along with some of the other members trying to help him out and uh, get him straight so he can get keeping dart frogs um, so again this is the Facebook page I recommend, especially for beginners, new newcomers, um, because people here are friendly. In this hobby, you can get some of the people that are elitists and some of the other Facebook pages, and uh, they tend to grill people when you ask when they ask questions, especially uh, some common questions. Here, I like to have people ask questions. I like to answer basic questions, even if it's anything from our poison dart frogs poisonous or anything like that. I don't think any question is a stupid question. I'll answer the same question a million times because like most people in the hobby, we like to educate people. We like to help spread the knowledge, the passion that we have for this uh, hobby. And 
you know, this is the perfect place to do it. So again, all things Dart Frog, guys, come here, join it. You're going to love it. Uh, it's a very cool place to come and learn. So next, I'm going to go over a website and then the forum. So up next, let's do the website. All right, my ninjas, as far as websites go, there's a lot out there, but this is one of my go-to websites. It's Josh's Frogs. Let's zoom in on that emblem right there. Oops, too, too close, too close. Okay, so that's Josh's Frogs. Uh, if you haven't visited them before, uh, I don't think they ship overseas, but they do uh, America. So there is that. Um, they have great stuff, great products, great frogs. And one of the best things they have is, let's see, how to guides, you see this? Click on that and boom, you have how to guides, all right? They cover everything that you can think of from feeder insects, then now they're expanding into reptiles. Uh, what dart frog is right for me? They have blog posts, they have how to videos, instructions, they have uh, care sheets, all kinds of stuff you can type in in this search right now. Let's, uh, let's do an example, let's type in fruit flies. All right, fruit flies, let's do that. Okay, we hit that, and what do you know? As you search, you get feeding fruit flies to your animals, how to culture fruit flies, another how to culture fruit flies, mortal enemies fruit flies in winter. So you get a whole lot of different things. So again, Josh's Frog's a great website to come to. Go to the how-to section if you have questions or you, you're unsure of things. You can see how they do it. They've been quite successful with doing this. Um, so. Definitely, definitely check them out and then maybe buy something if you need something from them and uh, continue to give them business. They have great products, great plants. Um, their customer service is top notch. They usually will respond. They actually I will usually, they, you, they always respond to emails, to questions. If you have a concern, if you have something wrong with uh, anything that got shipped to you, they are very quick to answer back and make everything right. So again, Josh's Frogs guys, come here. Their how-to guides are awesome. It's done by hobbyists, so you know you're getting good information. So the next thing what we're going to talk about, guys, is we're going to talk about a forum. All right, my ninjas, the last piece of uh, place I would recommend going to is a forum board. It's called Dendro board. Now, anybody in the hobby pretty much is familiar with this. This guy's brain has people from all over the world on it. It has uh, a lot of different hobbyists from different levels. You can find a lot of how to care sheets from here. You can ask questions, but make sure you post in the right forum area because if you don't, you're, you will probably feel like an idiot because uh, admins will probably tell you, hey, this is the wrong part and you'll feel like a dummy. So don't just be kind of careful with where you post, but uh, it's full of a lot of people. Um, when I joined way back, I don't know, four or five years ago, um, I, I haven't posted anything. I still haven't posted anything. I, I come here occasionally to look at things um, and it comes up in Google searches, but I come here to look at different things. Um, I haven't logged in in forever and I think they locked me out and I sent an email trying to get my stuff back in because I had Dark Frog and Jeff had this name for a long time actually, it's not something new. Um, and uh, I haven't heard, about, heard back from them and I guess I'm just locked out of it. So um, there's just there's that, but uh, it's a great place to come to, to look for. It's uh, not as beginner friendly um, as far as when you post some things because so, some, like I said, some people get a little feisty. I guess is a, is a good word on here because they're tired of seeing the same question asked over and over. Um, so they, some people can get a little salty if you uh, post a beginner question that's been asked a lot of times. Um, so just be careful with what you do. Search on here before you post. If you don't see anything with the subject matter that you're looking for, you know, then find the appropriate forum place to post and you should be good. But Dendro Board, it is a great place. It has a lot of knowledgeable uh, keepers on here, and hobbyists. Um, like I said, I wish I could get on here and post, but I, I haven't used my name on here in years. 
and uh, like I said nobody's responded to my emails as of like a month ago of hey I can't get in here can you guys please unlock my stuff um, so there you, you have that so there you go guys those are the three places for information that I like to go to and I think you guys should start going to so you have for your forums dendro board uh, for your um, website Josh's frogs and then for your Facebook groups all things dart frogs those are the three best places for information there are other websites forums Facebook groups that are good but the ones I, these are the three I recommend because again, they are chock full of different uh, hobbyists from different countries, from different experience levels, different knowledge base levels. And uh, you know, it is something that I definitely recommend. Now I'm gonna end it on my frogs. We got Constantine sitting right there. It is feeding day. So they're, every time I open the door, they're like ready, they're watching me. And then there's Zed. I um, mean, it just it rained in here this morning, so hi, Zed. Hi, Zed. Hello, Zed. All right, and that's where we're going to end it because she came way too close to the glass. She, like I said, they have no fear. I love these guys. They don't care that I mess with them or not really mess with them, but I, they don't care that I'm coming into their home and uh, they think it's feeding time. So today is crickets and they will be dusted today with dendro care. So uh, maybe I'll get a video of that sometime uh, in the future. But there you go, guys. That's it for the Dart discussion this week. This is Dart Frog Ninja saying frog on.